the low molecular weight heparins have been evaluated in a number of settings in cancer patients, both for the prevention of primary venous thromboembolism, this is in thrombosis in patients undergoing elective surgery or cancer patients admitted to hospital with acute medical illness. Uh, low molecular weight heparins such as daltoprin and enoxaparin have been evaluated in those settings and form part of the guidelines in the United States, both NCCN and ASCO, uh, recommending routine thromboprophylaxis for these two populations. But the low molecular weight heparin daltoprin has also been extensively evaluated in a single but large clinical trial, the CLOT study, with regard to the potential to prevent recurrent thromboembolism in patients with the first episode of deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism. In the CLOT trial, we randomized 676 patients uh, with proximal DVT, PE or both, and active cancer, defined as cancer uh, within the last six months or active, active cancer therapy, to a standard therapy arm where patients received daltoprin for five to seven days in full treatment doses, followed by oral anticoagulant vitamin K antagonists uh, for a further six months with a target INR of between two and three, or the experimental arm, which was daltoprin for six months, one month of full treatment doses of daltoprin, uh, followed by five months of 75% of the full treatment dose of 200 international units per kilogram. And the study uh, provided a fascinating result. It demonstrated at the end of six months a 52% reduction in the rate of symptomatic recurrent venous thromboembolism in favor of patients randomized to receive six months low molecular weight heparin therapy with daltoprin to prevent their recurrent venous thromboembolism. In terms of uh, bleeding associated with therapy, uh, there was no significant difference in bleeding rates. 5.6% of patients in the daltoprin group had a major bleed compared to 3.6% of patients receiving a vitamin K antagonist, not statistically significantly different. Uh, and uh, in terms of any bleed, there was no significant difference between the two groups. So overall, uh, guidelines, both ASCO and uh, NCCN, have adopted long-term low molecular weight heparin therapy uh, with an agent uh, such as daltoprin uh, as a preferred choice for preventing recurrent thromboembolism in patients with established uh, cancer-associated thrombosis.